at Paris Con. Uh, last time we talked, it was uh, at the Empire State Con back in April. Exactly, the Empire State Con. <laughs> I really had a good time. You good. know. How did, that, how, did uh, how did that show go for you? Uh, it didn't go bad. Um, there were some surprises. Uh, I think uh, uh, I wasn't uh, used to being in Albany in that close of vicinity. Yeah. You know, that was like, in town. I felt the need to run out the door and take a look around as much as I did feel like shaking hands. But other than that, um, it was good. Now, is this your first uh, time here at the Albany Con? This is actually my third time. Okay, your third time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I've always had a good time. This is the old guy's side. <laughs> you know? You know but the Joe Orlando, Joe Orlando's not here anymore, but if he was here, he'd be at the yeah. Albany Con. <laughs> you know? And that, that, uh, it's, uh, and it's old artwork and the old idea about what comics are about. And that's the main thrust. Uh, seniors, seniors rule, man. <laughs> so, uh, what have you been uh, working on since the Empire Con? Well, we know I used to do this. Yep. And so, being at the uh, Albany Con, that would have me do stuff like this. Remember the old days? <laughs> I saw Cholton, yeah. right? And, um, and since then, I went off to go do. I don't have any new devil, new devil here. Somewhere on the hill is a blue devil. But I do this thing called Blue Devil. You can't see the artwork on it because somewhere it went away. Somebody took it with him. Right? But um, when oh, I did the blue devil. Oh, I thought that was like the uh, sketch cover. It was. It is. It's my own version of a sketch cover. They love that type. Of, I found a way to type it and then yeah. print it on stuff and draw what they want. Um, I went on to do the thing called the Blue Devil. And the Blue Devil was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, as I moved forward, um, DC, of course, kept going with it. And when they went places, they went to uncomfortable places, places that didn't make me feel too good. <laughs> you know, suddenly this character was selling his soul and doing whatever he wants. And then he went on to TV. And I was so happy to see him on TV. But it was still, once again. Truth be told, it was like the late 90s when he sold his soul. Yeah, this is true. You know, how many times can you do it? Once is enough. <laughs> but it was a happy-go-lucky book. Yeah. The whole point was we bring fun back. Yeah. And that uh, uh, he was a witness magnet. And that being a witness magnet, things happen. You know, it happened to you, it happened to me. You know, aliens out of your microwave oven. Uh, you know, <laughs> find yourself in the middle of space. You know, leprechauns showing up. That anything could happen, and it all went to follow. And I... I I won't use the word I resent it, but I will use the word that uh, I don't think it does the character enough uh, room. It does its, its real option. Its option is, is always you know, walking through darkness to, to the light and finding humor in, in awkward situations. You know, uh, being devilish. Yeah. Being a devil. Have you, uh, been, have you been following what they're doing with him currently? Uh, as part of the, uh, like, the I Justice mean, League Dark, you know, in that... I didn't see that, but I saw the Swamp Thing movie, TV show. I saw the TV show. It was good. It was scary. <laughs> but and, I haven't and, seen it. <laughs> and and it Blue Devil Comics everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It was like raining Blue Devil Comics. It was one whole room. It was an orgy of Blue Devil Comics. I mean it. And uh, I said, wow. That would let people decide to take a look at it for themselves. Right. And, um, and, and But I loved that in... I'm always having a hard time saying his last name. And the guy that played the Blue Devil, Ian. I, <laughs> so, I, 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 I don't have the DC Entertainment uh, okay. subscription. Okay, has a great name. And uh, he played uh, Dan Cassie, and he did a great Dan Cassie. And uh, I thought, that, wow, that's going to make a good, great Blue Devil. And he was, but it was just to be evil for a minute. Yeah. And then the show was gone. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we, Gary and I went on to make this, The New Devil. A New Devil is a um, whimsical, uh, energetic, fierce, but at the same time, comedy. Uh, a week at night at itself. Uh, that is, he's a guy who's, instead of trapped in a costume, he's trapped in a game. Okay. And the game is wrapped around New York. And he's tra his job is to shut down this game he helped create, but he's having so much fun, uh, <laughs> yeah. doesn't want to quite do it. So, and, uh, and it's more youthful. 
He's actually much younger. And when is it, when is it, is it out? Is it? it will be out by the beginning of next year, and it's being published by um, Red Ample Comics. Okay. An yeah. independent. We're going in independent. That's right. I'm no longer holding DC's hand. Ah! <laughs> what am I going to say? But, uh, but moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward. Good. Um, we have other products that we're doing. Um, we're doing this. Didn't see that at Empire, did you? No. Well, this is um, Utterly Ridiculous Productions. And yeah, it's a story about a farmer who likes his cow. Oh, 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 oh I just got it. Utterly. That's right, utterly. <laughs> that's right, utterly. <laughs> Bodacious bovines. Okay. This is it. And uh, it's a farmer who loves the cow, and a cow who loves the farmer, and a wife who doesn't like any of them. <laughs> but ultimately, what it's really about is the difference between an animal and a pet. Yeah. You know, animal care, pet care. A, be a, a better yet, as we really understand it, animal husbandry. Where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And so it's cute, it's ridiculous, it makes fun of itself, and it looks at the, the tropes of being a farmer and, and, and how they uh, openly answer itself. It's also what we imagine animals think of themselves. Animals with egos, or animals able to think, or, or, or being conscious of the fact. It's just like giving Snoopy a chance, but Snoopy as a dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is, is that out, or is it coming out, or? Oh, this will say. This is already three seconds in mind. Um, it'll probably you'll probably see it at its uh, Ali Ridiculous mm -hmm. Productions. Uh, it has a website, and right. it'll be opening up soon. And, and when I say soon, I mean a week or two. two okay, weeks. I'll be in sure to include the, uh, a link or a mention. Or yes, we will make it see it. I want you to go see it. Uh -huh. We also have something called Afro Punks. Yeah. Um, and this also will be on my Patreon when I'm done, okay. which will be very soon. Very soon. And uh, what, what? Your uh, Patreon. Oh, what's what's your username? Or? Uh oh. <laughs> ParisCullens.pro okay. is my name. Um, I'll usually probably be using that, but, I'm, uh, but uh, it may wind up being BKBS Productions. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, uh, I'll let you get back to uh, meeting the uh, guys at every, well, people at the con, <laughs> people right. at the con and uh, maybe we'll see you at the Empire Con. You know, we, we will. We've got, we've got destiny. It's a destiny <laughs> empire. Empire. All right, well, thank you very much. Always thank you. Great interview. Always. Thank you. Yeah.